My name is Andy Austin, and I'm a freelance photographer from Montana. And for the last 10 plus years of my life, I've traveled to every corner of the earth looking for these lesser known destinations. Stuff that's just as important, just as beautiful, just as incredible as the main attractions of the world, but with nobody else there <laughs> seeing these amazing places. All right, so we just landed in Yopal. Stoked to be here in the Amazonia or Nokia and just kind of see what's in store for me. I don't really know anything about this region. I think, uh, you know, my main goal is to try and figure out the story here. What is in this area from the people, landscapes, the animals, you know, capture that uh, through photography over the next few days. Yeah, my goal here is to get 10 photos that perfectly encapsulate the area. And that uh, that's tough to do, actually, because there's a lot going on here. There are so many animals, so many birds, so many cultures, so many things happening that to actually condense that to 10 photos is going to be a challenge. The place we are right now is this really amazing place. And the fact that we've basically not seen any other tourists here is incredible. But there's a lot of feelings of home for me, the, the openness, the big sky. But then at the same time, there's Capybara. It's like a more tropical version with the birds and the wildlife. It's got its own uniqueness to it that I've never really seen anywhere else in the world. Do you remember what was the name of the region? Uh, yeah, it's, I'm working on it. It's uh, the Oreo Nokia. Estamos en el municipio de San Luis de Palenque, en el departamento de Casanare. Esto es la región de la Orinoquía, en los llanos colombianos. Y eh, los ecosistemas que encontramos acá son principalmente la sabana inundable y los bosques de galería. We're going to go across a small river where we will find aquatic birds. Samantha was obviously very passionate about seeing these animals. You know, every time she sees a bird, she's probably seen a million times. She's still loving it. She's still really happy to share it with me and share that experience. So those experiences with guides are pretty incredible where it feels like it's not a job to them. It's what they love. So if you think about Colombia, you have Eastern of the Andes, these vast plains, Orinoquia, but in the east, on the south, you will find Amazonian region. Miller is this guy who works at this ranch, and since day one, he's been kind of my right-hand man, showing me around. It took a, you know, it took a little while for him to warm up to me and throw a storm to each other, you know, the language barrier there. But once we did, we were cracking jokes with each other. We found out what, a, what we liked about each other and, and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we don't get this in Montana. Ese el primer día, pues me di cuenta de que Andy, como cuando hay una ave capturada y llega la libertad, él se fue y no haya por qué lado, si por acá o por acá, de mirar lo más hermoso que, que hay aquí en nuestra reserva. E inmediatamente encontramos los búhos y más adelante ya como agrupados muchas especies. I think with finding animals and wildlife and photography is you have right to have a lot of patience. There, right there. So that's always a challenge for me because I just want to go find things. I want to go trek into the bush. But sometimes it's not about that. Sometimes it's about waiting for them to come to you. Yeah, I see them. You know, one of the things I really wanted to see was capybara. I mean, they're everywhere. And it was just awesome to see. And it still doesn't get old seeing these guys. They're so cool. I think it's kind of my spirit animal because like you see them in any conditions. It's pouring rain. And it's just always just like hanging out. It looks like it just needs a cold cerveza as chill as it could be. 
We are looking for the anaconda. Oh my god. That thing is huge. How dangerous is it to like walk up to this thing? Uh, yeah, it's so cool to see just like really up close, just to see the scales on an animal that big, like a reptile that big, and then just watching, watching her breathe. You know, it's so is bigger than this you expected? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Here we are, day one, and uh, already found an anaconda. This is pretty stoked. I don't know where we go from here. For me, this is, <laughs> this is pretty much the top. So we've already heard that there is a giant anteater out here, and we really want to find it. So we have a pretty incredible scene over here. There's like, two of my favorite animals within the same frame. There's an anteater. Capybaras, there's even a fox over here. And the sounds of all the animals in this area are just wild right now. So happy. Right over here. Rain's coming. <laughs> we were laughing in the rain and joking around about, you know, just getting stuck in a rainstorm and just embracing it, having a really good time. Every time we try to do anything important, it's just going to rain on us. But that's part of the fun, right? So on my last visit, I kind of heard a lot about how Colombia is the second most biodiverse country on the planet. And, oh, there's a macaw. All right. Uh, <laughs> We just got video bombed by a macaw. Funny my encanto, definitely. But uh, I can't give away the secret yet. All right, so it just helped uh, the Gennaros drive their herd of cattle from the fields crossing the river, which was just a pretty incredible experience. It was definitely deeper than I expected. And uh, next thing I know, my boots are underwater. I'm underwater. I was like, wow, this feels like home. Feels like pushing cattle across a river crossing back in Montana. But then I looked over and saw a caiman pop its head up in the middle of the cattle and I was kind of quickly uh, thrown back into reality that I'm not home. <laughs> this is a very different place. Yeah, Giovanna was very impressive to watch riding. I mean, obviously she's been doing this her whole life. You know, the cowgirls are very tough and she definitely proved that. In a place like this where there aren't as many tourists, you get a much more authentic experience because people aren't just doing things for tourism. These are real cowboys, real cowgirl, real horses, real experiences. You know, you come back from being in the fields. Food is ready. Miller's cutting up great slices of meat. Oh, it's incredible. That man can do it all. Find us animals, but also he's a master barbecuer. So I met Giovanna and Haler at the barbecue we had, and immediately it felt like old friends back home, just kind of connecting over these similar cultures and just a love of, like, simplicity, as I would say. So traveling the world as a photographer, my job is to find the story that I feel like describes this place. And here, it was very easy. The story was kind of laid out for me. It kind of just unfolded in front of my eyes. Yeah, I think for anybody who is a wildlife photographer, or a landscape photographer, or just a general outdoor photographer, this place is heaven. I could spend a month here and probably never run out of things to photograph. Something that's a kind of a reoccurring theme is the language barrier that doesn't feel like a language barrier. We connect through a love of what we're doing, a love of the outdoors, a love of this culture, this feeling that we're all experiencing. So there is no direct translation for Encanto in English, but it's a word that's just commonly known out here. And you know, to me, that's everything here. You know, it's, it's not just the wildlife we saw, it's not just the landscapes we saw, it's not just the people we saw, but it's a combination, it's the interaction of all three of those things. All of those kind of wrapped up together, that to me is Encanto. I think from this experience, I'm taking a lot home. Even just talking about it gives me chills, right? Like just a moment in time that for me was very impactful. Dreams do come true, folks. Dreams do come true. 
and the warmth that I've found from Colombian people of embracing me as an outsider coming in uh, has been incredible. And I can't wait to take that home knowing that I am not returning the same man I came here as.